In this presentation we're going to continue on with LUD composition and what we're going to do here is solve this system of linear equations. Now I have it written here in matrix form. What I have here is the matrix, I previously called it A but now I just sort of changed the name to M. I have this uh, vector here x, x1, x2, x3, so it should be a 3 there. Let's just uh, fix that. And we have solution values there, uh, 0, 5, and 22. Now, what happened in the last presentation is that, sorry, this is just like, let's be clear, this is in the form mx equal to b. And again, usually I will write a there, but just for the sake of not, ha uh, ha not having notation clashing, I just changed it to m. So what we've done in the last video is we found that M, if we uh, use LUD composition, we can write it as the product of these two matrices, L and U. Okay. Now, so what we could say is that M of X, MX, is equal to L times U times X, and that is equal to B. Okay. Now, what we're going to do first off is we're going to sort of split this equation here, this one here, this is a very important equation. What we're going to do is split it up into two parts and we're going to solve both parts uh, individually. So we have, this is just scrolling up on me, sorry. So what we're going to do here is we have mx is equal to um, mx is equal to l u x and that's equal to b. What I'm going to do here is let u x equal to this thing expression y. So I'm going to just create a sort of sub expression here l y is equal to b. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to split it up into two parts I'm going to let ux equal to y and then ly equal to b. Now, what I'm going to do first off is solve this one. I have I have b, I have l, so I just have to find y, and then use the values from y into the last one. Uh, put it into the first one there. I have u. I should find y, and then I'll be able to find x. So what I'm going to do is actually go in reverse order. I'm going to do this one first, and then this one second. So. Let's first firstly do the second one first. Okay, so L Y is equal to B. So here we have L, and again that was uh, from the last we done that we found what L was in the last exercise. Here's some undetermined coefficients Y that we're going to use uh, to put into the top equation here, and we have the answer there to B. The values for B zero five and two twenty two. So what we're going to do here is we have L and Y in um, matrix form, what we're going to do is just multiply them out, simplify them essentially. So we have Y1, 2Y1 plus Y2, 2Y1 plus 4Y2 plus Y3, and that is equal to 0, 5, and 22. Well, clearly Y1 is going to be 0. Necessarily 2Y1 plus Y2 equals 5. So necessarily 2 times 0 is 0, and that gives you 5, so this is equal to 5. 2y1, you can cancel that out. We have 4 times y2, that's 4 times 5, and y3 is necessarily 2 to bring that up to 22, so that's 4 times 5 plus 2, and that will give you 22 there. So this is y1, y2, y3, we have 0, 5, and 2. Now, what we're going to do here is go back to this one because now we we had u, we have to find x, and we now have y. It is 0, 5, and 2. So let's go to the next slide. There we have it there. Here we have u there. Here's x, which we have to compute, and here we have y. Okay. So again, we multiply it out. Um, 1 minus 3, 1 times x1, 
x2, x3. So we get x1 minus 3x2 plus x3. Uh, we have middle row 0, 1, and 2. T multiply that by x1, x2, x3. We get x2 plus 2x3. And finally, 0, 0, 1. We just get x3. And that is equal to 0, 5, and 2. Now clearly you could see that y3 is equal to y2. Or is equal to 2. So the second, just moving up, this is just back substitution. Um, x2 plus 2 times y, uh, x3, that's 2 times 4, that's equal to 5. Necessarily x2 is going to be equal to 1. Great. And the top line, x1 minus 3 times x2, that's 3 times 1, so that's 3, plus 2 is equal to 0. So necessarily x1 is equal to 1. So that is the answer that solves our system of linear equations uh, using LU decomposition and back substitution. Uh, that's the answer there. So that was a nice quick short one. Uh, so.